Okay, this is a super pubic catheter change and we're doing it on the basis of I've tried absolutely everything. So I've done, um, it's double incontinent right now, so my judgment is stating that the infection has probably pulled the catheter out a little bit or pushed it out. Um, and also, and then because he, the first time I'd be able to manage to get a, a urine a sample from um, the other end, the winky, and what from that it's come up with blood and protein and stuff. And let, so he's on antibiotics, and I've decided because he's, he doesn't like being the way he is, it's it's go straight full in for a catheter change, no messing about. So I've got my whole kit ready, emergency kit ready. I'm just about to start it now. Um, and I know I've got a BP reading of 108, 71, and his stats are 96, so now I know that he's perfect. I've got all my kit ready, I've got emergency drugs ready. I'm just going to take the second reading, and then from the second reading, we'll go from there. Um, if, so, from that, I've used dipsticks. And then I've got everything ready here, including um, the trolley for the um, super pubic and the new super pubic. I've got everything ready. Um, I just wanted to put this video together so you can see for yourselves because um, I've got some overgranulation, um, an infection, and you can always tell by an infection by this translucent urine. So his blood pressure has risen a little bit to 132, but it's going to because he's he doesn't like this bit. So the first things first is when you've got your kit ready, um, is to get that around your little nozzle here, this part. And if you're in AD, you pull back like I said before. Um, so lock on, draw back. Let's see how much you let's urine. I have had urine actually once or twice in the actual syringe. Let's see by pushing back, pulling back, pulling back, pulling back, where your resistance is. And I'm hoping to get 10 back. Well, maybe not, but yeah. I'm hoping to get 10 back because we reinserted it the other day because it did fall out. So let's just check. Perfect 10. There we go. I've got the dinner and everything ready, so now I've got all, as you can see, look, here's the stoma. It's been very bloody, it's got overgranulation. Um, the tube itself, for, to my naked eye, it does look like, like it's got blood in it, I can see that. We, I'm going to give them a set of antibiotics when we get them up. However, I'm going to go fully straight in now and get this out of him because he doesn't want to be like he is and we've done every every step possible i've got bladder wash i've got everything ready and i've got i've got rescue meds so first things first is obviously we've, we've deflated the blue get your insulator out ready um i can't touch the inside of the packet because it's going to go inside the stoma and then what i do is because it's only one-handed and you can anyone can do this i will bring Upside down like this, my whole sterilised pack towards me. I need that bin out of the way, really, but there's nothing I can do. It's a one handed man job. So on there, Ben doesn't touch anything right now. I'll go by my third reading, so my rubbish bags here. So, what I continue to do throughout as much as I can is wipe my hands with a clinical wipe, even though I'm going to put uh, another double glove in a minute. We check this. This is just cleaning gloves. So in here, I have the size of the catheter, what's going back in. I have instiller gel um, ready. See, it's gone down. So one twenty-seven. So I'm going to go straight in and do this now. Um, and like I said, everything has to be sterilised. So the taking out, this is his first catheter change, mind you, so it's new. So on the catheter change itself, 
you know, I, the other day I did not have any issues of popping it back in. It was the, obviously the channel, um, it went in perfect. It's just that today there's just a, a, an issue downstairs and, I, and we're going out and he doesn't want to be doubling continent and this is the only way forward. Otherwise we'd have to stay in, wouldn't we? And no, we're not yeah. staying in. So this is why I'm doing it. So I'll just get on my sterilised gloves. I'll get another capsule pack ready here behind him or on my trolley to be fair, because it's better on my trolley. Um, I've sterilised all the trolley down. Um, here we go then, I think we've that out of the way. Um, I'm not doing a bladder wash uh, on the bases of it's, it's gone too far. Um, I've done all the steps that I possibly can this week to help him. Um, including antibiotics and like I said this this now will go forward into getting it right putting it back and stop him from urinating um, and it goes back into the super beauty although we've had both haven't we then so to me it's kind of weird because Ben's got it both ways all right I have to wear large gloves because I like I don't I can't have my fingers constricted so make sure um, a lot of people wear masks. I did wear masks, but they don't work. They're not going to stop an infection like this. So when you've got your sterile gloves on, you're ready. I'm ready to have one hand dirty and one hand free and freed up. But sometimes I have to put an extra glove on to inner you know, change, and they're already ready here. Are you ready? So first things yeah. first. This is my. This is going to be my dirt. This is my dirty hand. This I'm going to use to open up the stoma. So I use my gown. I'll open it up with my fingers. I don't know whether the camera can see that. All this is sterilised, so I can touch any sterilised area. And then with this, are you ready? I ask yeah. you to breathe. One nice breath. And then what I'll do is I'll be gently pulling it out. Oh God, I knew I smelled infection. Look at the state of that. That oh, is God, infe look at that. It's infected, look. I could smell it with it this morning and I, I told him straight. Um, that block, that is. So all that, I'll just get that sterilised glove off quick, my dirty one. And because I've still got a clean hand, I'll use this now, take the cap off, with my clean hand. It's in Stiller gel, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in Stiller gel, open up the stoma again, and just gently put some in. So it's an ecotizing inside for him, as nicely, as gentle as you possibly can. Remember to check dates on everything. So that's ready, which is great. So now I can glove up again. I'm not bothered really about this hand because I'm going to need this to squeeze, but I do need one more glove. Okay. Are you okay, then? Mm, yeah. Can I take a capital reading? Oh, capital reading. <laughs> a blood pressure reading. Yeah. Yeah. So I do it like this due to the fact is one, you get the insider gel inside. Two, um, that on your own. I've been doing it for 28 years, so I, I just recognise different signs, symptoms, whatever. So right now, I'm putting three gloves on my left hand, so I'll be gloving up just in case any year, any other urine comes at me. And people, and people will be saying, why are you leaving the stoma open? Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I put that syringe, leave the syringe in. Um, but you know what? I've got time to put this new one together. So my hands are both sterile, I'm going to move back down and I've got the catheter right here and I've already put the instiller gel in, so I've got it attached to a day bag too. So I can draw back and see if it's in place once I've got it in. So what I'm going to do is I've got two sterilised hands, yes, I'm going to take this out, Live all it's lovely stuff, you can pop it into the trailer gently across his body as gentle as you can. I do not put the catheter anywhere. Grab the catheter, catheter itself. 
open up the stoma, in it goes. And there's a little tiny resistance, that little tiny bit, and then it sucks it in. To pop into place. How are you feeling, Bud? Alright. Alright. Yeah, sure. I do, but not much. Well, you're going to get a bit of AD on that one. The one thing I didn't get ready was my syringe here. Not I've either. got so many gloves on. I'm holding the catheter in place with my one hand. So, here we go. Ooh, I've already got a load of sediments on, on the way through. Hang on. Let me just get these sediments out first. Just making sure then I'm just going to put some new saline in that I don't need to. That's fine. How are you feeling? Alright. Sure? Yeah. So these, these, all these in the capital packs, I always get them ready myself as well. I have double whammies, but um, today I'm just doing it as gentle and as possible so I can show you how to do it, even though I need this glove off because it's too large. Here we go. I'm going to cause the trauma myself in a minute if I don't get this off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it like this, turn it around so I've got double one on it. And when you're struggling to get these plastics off, always use... What are you actually doing? Well, because what I'm doing is I can't, I couldn't yeah. find the seal because I haven't got my glasses on to do that, but it's all going in the bag okay. already. I've got that many sediments out and you, you, it's in place and I'll tell you where to feel it's in place is you can just get that resistance look, a tiny bit of the resistance have you already blew it up then? no I'm just about to so I won't, blow the, I won't blow the balloon up until I know I've got That's urine flat. I haven't just got urine I've got actually black bits I'm just going to try and show the camera this look I'm going to put this, so yes I've got a flow, I've got about 50 mils of urine, I'm happy, are you happy? I'm happy to take the cap off and I'm happy to turn it round, press and I do it quick, lots of people do it slow, that's the balloon in, drop your catheter down and then take a little tug, only tiny and make sure it's in situ. So I'm just going to show you how clean after a super pubic catheter change is. It's super duper. I've got not, none of that smell. Hence why I don't, I'm not wearing a mask. I never wore masks years ago and I'm not wearing them now again because of the reason being is it, we never used to use it. Oh, there's so many sediments coming out. So that is what you call a super pubic cancer change. I will now clean them all up. I will now get rid of all this. And I will also <laughs> take one of my gloves off, that one. And this one here, because I've got three sets on one hand, and I can do a reading now. So what you need to do is whatever you use, that instiller gel is um, a form of anesthetic. Well, it is an anesthetic, and that's why I put it inside. Take off your pieces of paper. Write your date, what you use, Men remember to use um, and think of dates always. Um, on your catheter, you always take this off, give it, give you, in, you put your reasons behind it. Um, so I keep all those. And as you can see, how are you feeling? And I'm just going to have a look now downstairs while he's on camera. I'm leaving this bag in front so nobody gets to see anything. I'm just going to wipe his legs and wipe around them and put it on there. You can do this another way. Is I could do it, if I wasn't filming, I'd do it from left to right really quick um, with my trolley in and out, but I've done it as slowly as I can to show people. Oh, the blood pressure only went up. Of... So the blood, yeah, the blood pressure is 177, so it's gone up and I expected it to go up. So what I'm also going to do is get my clinical wipe and just wipe the tube. Just so I know that when I, I you know, is it all it's clear? clear now? Absolutely clear as hell. Uh, a lot of surgeons would put um, a syringe into this, uh, 
make sure it's in place, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, why not? I don't need to. How powerful was your first one? I'll be On your new cavity? I'll be, no problem. So if anyone has any problems with super pubic cavities and they are double incontinent, then forget going in with your your basic bladder washes or X, Y, and Z. The best thing to do is measure each, this is a little tip, so from your stoma to the nozzle there, I use, I'll show you what I use. Mm -hmm. So in the cafe pack, you have these. So what we do is I'll use it to measure how far that cafe is in so that we know on a daily basis. Um, so here we go, look. So from the nozzle, I'm going to do it just from, from here now because it's easier. So there's my first reading. That's my first reading of 14. It used to be 28, but this is a new one. It's still 28. So that's 28. You take it right to the port, to the port, um, on both, and check that down there. And you know your 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 catheter is in situ. Um, I wipe as much as I can down as I go along to keep obviously bare with this infection that he has got um, and the dipstick is in this bag somewhere but like you don't want to see that and neither do I actually it's disgusting but you know what this is a prevention of major AD uh, and it's preventing more infection and it prevents also the double incontinent it will stop now downstairs so I'm going to have a look to see if it has got downstairs and I'll rubbish at the same time so try not to cross contaminate yourself to the card to your client or persons or whatever so I'll get rid of those in a minute but because I'm working with a dirty area what I do now is I put a clean pad this is this is a little tip clean pad underneath the your winky woo or whoever, whatever. Take your gloves completely off now. And just wait. Um, what you're waiting for, I'm waiting to wash my hands, but what you're waiting for is basically, is the person who's still double incontinent at this stage? One, two, three, I don't think so. <laughs> On the grounds of one, two, three. Okay. I do all my one, two, three inspections. I'm just gonna wash my hands and do one more reading. I know this is kind of like a boring step-by-step -step guide, but I'm gonna tell you now, it will get rid of the infection because the, the tube itself, inside where it sits with the balloon, uh, inside that, round, round the areas of, of where it sits, it gets a build up and I could smell that this morning um, without even having to do any of this. How are you feeling? So make sure you're always there. Um, yes. Obviously check your blood pressure, keep your blood pressure going. I have to do a few other things because of he's, he's got other underlying issues, not just spinal brain injury, blah, blah. Um, and I believe from from today onwards, um, I'll try and do another video in the week if he is still infected, etc. If he is still infected, I'll be double um, antibiotics. So, yeah. Got perfect, perfect reading of 139 over 108. Oh no, sorry, over 99. <laughs> I'm like, yes, that's perfect. And his pulse is 108. So we're ready to stop the video. And game over. I can get him now showered. Ta-da! Yes, Ben. <laughs>